What's up, my lady loves? My name is Pokey Drago, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to not make the same mistake as I did. Even if you have to tow your car somewhere to an independent mechanic. So, let me give you guys a little bit of backstory of what I'm talking about. So, we, or I should say, my um, alternator... In this car, and this is my 2004 BMW 330i, which you guys know as the Dragon Slayer. The Dragon Slayer's alternator went out yesterday. Now, keep in mind, the previous alternator we had in it, it was, well, it lasted for pretty much a year. Or almost a year, nine months. So, with that then being said, you would think that if, because we did get one... I believe we got one, um, like, I don't think we got this, my old one used. I don't believe we did. So you think, okay, since it's brand new, it will last for a year. No problems. Well, no. Apparently, for some reason, for some reason, my car's alternator died on me. me. Now, I thought it was the battery. Nope. It, it wasn't. And also, I'm going to get into the battery, you know, a little bit later. So, you know, many places later, I ended up at Better Wrench. Now, let me first off by saying this. BMW, if you're watching this video, which I know you guys are because you guys like to get, you know, ideas from people who have your products. So, BMW, if you do are watching this video, let's not make the batteries, well let's not make the batteries have to be registered when you for, when you buy the car because that right there is kinda stupid, it's kinda stupid and, I, and the reason why I say it's kinda stupid is because why register, why have a battery be registered or not even register what you guys call program uh, now I know that's one way how the dealerships can make a quick earning of a quick $550. That's not okay, especially for this old of a car. $550 should not be the cost of programming a battery into this car in order to work with the alternator. Because apparently, if you don't do that, the, the car will apparently run on the battery, which is dumb. Like, it's really stupid. Gosh darn it, BMW. But anyways, I'm going to tell you guys how to also not get scared out of doing that. that. For starters, do your homework on the car so that way you don't, have, you don't have to get a car that's programmable. That has a programmable battery. Or if you do get one with a pro, that needs a programmable battery, search up shops that can, that can do it for less than the dealer does. Unfortunately... I wasn't so lucky. So, we're going to talk about what Bear Ranch did. So, other, so, here's another thing. Always buy your parts. Do not have some, and have like a independent mechanic that you guys go to as well. Because of this simple mistake right here that we will never do again. Even that means we have to have, our, have one of our cars that is broken down, towed, to one of our mechanics. Or to our mechanic. So, right here, yeah, I'm pretty much going to tell you guys how much a new alternator is, or remanufactured one, one is for this car. Now, we're going to go to Bosch because Bosch makes some pretty dang good alternators. So, this, re this one, first ring manufactured one right here is $186. Then we go to this other one right here. This one right here, regular price is $276. But with the cord charge, which is refundable, which is $111, um, you get to $387. 
And here's a Bosch alternate that's brand spanking new. 307. Alright. Now you guys know some of the prices. Let's see what what um freaking better wrench charged charged us. So better wrench wrench folder alternator was five hundred and fifty five dollars which is just ridiculous. Now think about that. I I'll even look to see See if there is like another alternator that comes anywhere close to that. But here's the thing. I don't think there even is. And the reason why why I say that, that so far I see that Bosch um, 100% remanufactured alternator that has the core charge with it. Oh, here's another one. This one right here, there's, there's a new one, here's another alternator that's new, $399. Alright, now, for their, them to charge us $555 for an alternator, and like, keep in mind, this is not even like a, like a sports car, it's a sports sedan. But 234 horsepower does not seem like sportiness to me. But to charge $550 for an alternator. That is absolutely ridiculous. And he, but here's the thing. I don't think that the alternator that they charging that they charged us was $550. I believe they bought it for like anywhere from a hundred to three hundred anywhere in that ballpark range and with that they decided you know what let's let's put our own initials or branding on it and let's charge these suckers these mofos like freaking five hundred fifty dollars like why don't do that that's not okay that's how when when people know how, when people don't want to waste their money, and they see stuff like that, that's not okay. Oh, here's the best part. They called. I called them before I went there, and I and it, when I still thought it was my battery, I asked them, "Hey, can you guys program my battery?" They said, "Yeah, it'll be twenty five dollars, right here, or register the battery." What they said, twenty five dollars. Registered battery to call alternator was not charging. Replace alternator, charge battery, and clear all codes. Right here. $125. And let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. No. Here's the best part. That wasn't... That, that was... Both, that was actually the time it took to program the battery. Well, to do that, to do that, which was twenty-five dollars, and labor, which is a hundred dollars. That's how they came up with the a hundred, hundred twenty-five dollars for a grand smack total with shop. You get oh, with also um, sales ta sales tax as well. You get. Seven hundred and fifty-eight dollars. So pretty much, almost a grand for this alternator. More of the story, you guys. If you have an independent mechanic and you actually did your research and you guys actually have like, you no, know, a list of cheaper ways to fix your car, go down that route and you will save you guys a freak ton of money. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you learned something, please give it a like and subscribe. Take care. Have a good day.